Well, it's definitely great performance, so we're very happy about it. Uh, we are not surprised so much by the growth, given the fact that this is the first time it's officially a shopping season, not just a festival, not a one-day event. Even though previously we had pre-sales, but it was everything, like all the orders were packed in that one day. So right now, for Alibaba at least, it is full swing, 11 days. Um, I'm a little bit, it's a little bit over-delivered on my expectations even. Um, it almost doubled, but of course you cannot compare it year on year because it's not a day, it is more like 11 day season. How did uh, e-commerce change in China during the pandemic, if at all, and, and how did marketing, which you work in, have to adjust to that? Well, the changes are significant. Um, a lot of new groups have entered e-commerce. We see a lot of people from lower tier cities, a lot of villages, a lot of older generation uh, joining in and starting consuming, for example, such things as fresh produce. Um, uh, they used to go to wet markets for that. Right now they're purchasing online. Um, we see people rendering and purchasing services. We see uh, everybody from, for example, for this 11-11, we have McDonald's joining in for the first time. We see car brands joining in. We see luxury brands that were very resistant towards you know, e-commerce for years. This time, uh, the amount of luxury brands, I think on um, Alibaba alone, there were more than 200 brands, and 90% of them over-delivered on their last year results for this festival. So there's definitely a lot more category um, people are also, you know, the shopping behavior changed a little bit because we all have global uh, kind of Zoom fatigue, uh, screen time fatigue, and uh, right now you need to entertain people a lot more. So this 11-11, we see a lot of games. Um, everybody's raising cats on Taobao right now. So you raise a cat and essentially you're collecting points. You can convert those points into um, uh, coins and basically buy something with it later on. So gamification is definitely even more important. And of course, apart from all that, live streaming. Live streaming is just the name of the game. Actually, this year we had a crisis. There were not enough of anchors, live streaming anchors, um, uh, for brands to grab. So that is why it is one of the most desired, I would say, skills right now in China. Whether you're a salesperson or you are an entertainer or a marketer, become, being a good live streamer and knowing how to entertain, educate, and sell through live streaming is extremely important. So all these changes have been there, but they accelerated hugely during COVID-19. Are we seeing uh, any trends in what people are buying? Uh, you, you mentioned McDonald's there. I'm, I'm guessing people aren't buying uh, Big Macs, but, but is there a specific trend of what they're actually purchasing this year? Yeah, absolutely. So looking at JD, for example, we see some interesting insights. We see that, for example, pet owners are purchasing a lot of pet products and services as well, pampering their pets, and there is a little bit of shift into the pet luxury even, so it's very interesting what you can get out of it. Um, we see a lot of, again, luxury brands um, essentially performing very well this year. We see, in general, uh, I believe that more than 30,000 brands only on Alibaba uh, from overseas joining this 11-11 and they are from 84 countries around the world and regions. So these are everything on body, in body that always has performed really, really well. So something that comes from overseas. Um, so in body is essentially any food, any snacks, anything you put like vitamins, etc. And on body, it can be from fashion to jewelry to creams and cosmetics. So these are very good and strong categories throughout. Right now, we also have a lot of fresh e-commerce on all platforms. And of course, 11.11 and Singles Day is not only about Alibaba. There's also Jingdong. There's also Pinduoduo. There's also um, other platforms that have joined this season. So throughout the whole, I would say, industry, we see a lot of fresh food as well. So people get their fruits delivered. And sometimes you can even subscribe during 11.11. You subscribe to a food delivery service. Um, for a year. You can use that, those credits for a year, for example, to have apples delivered to you or melons delivered to you for the next 12 months, which is very new and very uh, interesting, I would say. Ashley, for people abroad who might not be familiar with uh, Singles Day, uh, how significant is this sort of commerce for China? Well, I would say it is it is literally, at this stage, a national holiday. So it started 12 years ago, and it was kind of a fun way to get uh, discounts and deals. It was 
it was um, something interesting for young people. And I remember, uh, you know, being in mainland China back in those days was crazy because you would purchase all your stationery and you would wait for that day to just get cheap stuff for your home and some home appliances, etc. And then slowly and gradually, it really became all about entertainment and engaging people. And it was all about these big galas, and it was a lot more than just shopping. It was a show on top. And then it became a lifestyle. People literally would prepare three, four months in advance, putting together their lists. What do they want to buy on this big day? So yes, it is a bargain. Yes, it is entertaining. And yes, it is engaging. Live streaming, for instance, is just one way to add on to that. And uh, this year we see all of these things manifesting and now it's as I said earlier it's not just a shopping day it is right now finally a shopping season and this shopping season is not just about Alibaba it is also about other players and right now e-commerce players as well as social media players are joining in so it's not just about e-commerce uh, anymore it's not just about online a lot of people from outside of China also don't realize that there's a lot of online to offline promotions you cannot walk on the streets of Shenzhen or Shanghai without seeing huge banners without mm. going and scanning QR codes and hunting for discounts and bonuses so it's truly a national festival right now which is not just one day but truly a season